Well, it's day, I don't even remember what day it is anymore of this quarantine. And I was trying to figure out something delicious to make and then it dawned on me. How many people here, raise of hands, loved Hamburger Helper when they were growing up? Yeah, that kid did. Mainly the Cheeseburger Mac, that was my favorite. So I said to myself, self, today, let's make Cheeseburger Mac and our Ninja Foodie. And I did, and it was fantastic, and I'm gonna show you how to make it now. Let's go. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and hit that sear saute feature, and let's get that Ninja Foodie nice and hot. While you're waiting for it to get nice and hot though, go ahead and hit that little red button down there and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell, beep, so you know when all my new videos come out. And come on over and check out our Facebook group, the Ninja Foodie Instapot Universe. There, we share all of our tips, tricks, pictures, ideas, comments, all that good stuff. So come on over and check it out. It's free. All right, it's feeling nice and hot. Let's go ahead and put in one tablespoon of olive oil. Now, if you miss any of the ingredients, they'll be down in the box below. Now that olive oil is nice and hot, we're gonna drop in one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. Stir that around a little bit, just to flavor that oil. Now, go ahead and get you one and a half pounds of lean ground beef. Get out your handy meat masher and let's get to work. So how is everybody doing out there? We're doing pretty good. By the end of this quarantine though, I don't know if I'm gonna need Alcoholics Anonymous or Weight Watchers. Probably both, but geez man, I'm ready to go back to work. Gaining too much weight and drinking a little bit too much wine. All right, it's better to use the extra, extra lean ground beef. I only have the 80-20, so I'm gonna have to go drain mine. But if you can get the extra, extra lean, then you'll be doing just fine. So let's go drain this meat. All right, I drained off all that excess fat. Let's go ahead and add one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon I lied, two teaspoons of the minced dried uh, onions. Geez, I can't talk. Maybe I shouldn't drink so much wine before I start cooking. And we're gonna do one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Mix that up real good. Mm, I love the smell. The Worcestershire sauce and the garlic and all that smells so good. Now let's drop in a box of elbow pasta, it's 16 ounces. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Four cups of beef broth. I'm using the better than bouillon, so I'm gonna give it a little stir. Now, if you're using an Instapot with the uh, stainless steel pot, don't stir it up. You don't want that pasta sticking to the bottom. Drop in three tablespoons of butter. Let's go ahead and put on our pressure lid. Set up the seal, and we're gonna pressure cook for four minutes with a quick release. We pressure cooked for four minutes and did a quick release. Red pen is dropped, let's see what we got. Mm. I know we've got something that smells good. Let's give that a quick stir. So while that was uh, cooking, I went and got half a cup of heavy cream. Dump it in there. Two tablespoons of ketchup. Don't freak out. A lot of recipes call for um, tomato paste, I like using ketchup. It gives a little tanginess and a little sweetness to it. 
I mean, you put tomato sauce on your pasta and you put ketchup on your hamburger, so you know it's gonna be good. I also have two cups of Colby Jack and one cup of uh, cheddar. Put about a cup in at a time and stir it up. And that's it. Let's plate it up and eat it up. All right, get you a bowl. And let's get some of that cheeseburger mac. All right, let's put a little parsley on top for color. And boom, check that out. All right, it was super fast, super easy. Smells amazing, looks amazing, but how does it taste? Look at the cheese. You don't get that from the box stuff, do you? Mmm. That is phenomenal. Mmm. Super beefy, super cheesy, creamy. Oh, it is so good. You know, I have a lot of pastas in my arsenal of recipes. Never had cheeseburger mac until now. So I got one question for you. Are you hungry? You won't be after you eat this. Your whole family's gonna love it. Mmm, good, let's eat. Mmm.